Hello, Mr. Nkanga. Are you there? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing quite well, thank you. Oh, well. Uh, talking about the conduct of the elections in Akwaibom State, uh, there have been allegations that it was uh, marred by a lot of irregularities, and uh, that's coming from uh, the All Progressives Congress. So would like to have your perspectives on that. Are those uh, allegations justified? To the best of my knowledge, we had the, the, the fairest uh, election in Akwaibo State this time around. It was very peaceful, very peaceful. So I don't know uh, those allegations must be very baseless. But the, the, uh, the, the, the allegations included the fact that uh, the result sheets were not made available to the, or rather, by the INEC officials when they went to the when they were distributed around the various uh, polling units. Well, the the the, the truth is that uh, when we were having uh, the INEC was educating all of us, they didn't ask us and they didn't tell us at any point in time that when you go to the polling uh, unit, the first thing that you go and look for is the result sheet, and I, I wasn't aware of that. But be that as it may, even in my own unit, uh, there is a chieftain of APC that is in the same unit with me. If, when we had even started, uh, we were just about starting uh, voting, he came and said, no, he wanted to see the result sheet. I think that must have been the general thing told to all most APC people, and they went around saying that, so when that was said, the young man that was in charge, people did almost took us a bit of a row in the place uh, because I, you know, some people said no, it was disrupting the proceedings and all that. So uh, the young man said, uh, "Okay, look at the results sheet and showed him, and he, he had nothing else to say." And then we continued. So I don't, uh, unless anybody went to go and ask like that. You wouldn't know whether they have, because it's not one of the materials we were asked to go and find out as voters. Uh, I wasn't aware of that. So I am, they must be very isolated that there would have been any place that anybody was asked and he, they did not show it to him if it was necessary. But I don't even know if the law says that when you go, you should start asking for, yeah, uh, to asking for uh, the resource sheet. And it's not part of what we were educated about the voting that day. But the, the general conduct, and I'm sure you do have a correspondent uh, here in Akwaibom State. Your correspondent will be in a very good position to tell you that it was very, very free. Very, very free. Start, uh, earlier when you were talking, you said that as far as you knew, um, none of these things, um, allegations are valid. Can I ask you, to what extent did you move around during polling day? And we are not expected to move around. So I was in my, I went to my own unit. I was within my own ward. And that was, and, and I never, uh, because uh, when I say as far as I knew, I have not heard of any report apart from the allegation from, maybe from the APC candidate that he saw. But from the eyewitness perspective, therefore, you can only speak to what you saw, essentially. And from what I heard. And from what I heard. And I did not hear that other than from that one source. But in, in terms of uh, what I saw, there was nothing like that. And I even told you that in my own unit, when a chieftain came, and because it looked like maybe that information was passed around, or it, because it came maybe poor about the same time that uh, the one in River State, the governor of River State, went and asked for shit, it looked like that was the general thing, and it all went like wildfire everywhere, where it's with all shit, as if it was, um, they had something to do with it. So, uh, apart from that, I will not know. I didn't know of any other unit that somebody went and asked and uh, they did not. Uh, you uh, do know that the up. requirement for the polls is that all the materials for elections are supposed to be in place before elections are to start and that agents are allowed to verify the presence of materials before the start of polls. No, there, there is, no that, is, that, is not, uh, that is not correct. Because you can imagine if every voter comes at any time and no, they bring No, I'm not talking about and, voters. I'm talking about agents that represent parties. Well, this, they, well, these are not... The agents must have verified. The person that you said accused 
murder accusation is not an agent. Do you expect and the person that came to my, the person that came to my unit also and said it's not an agent? It's just a system of APC. No, but if they get calls from their agents telling them that at the point of trying to verify materials, they're being told that there are no um, sheets to record results at the end of elections. Can you understand why they will be wanting to see with their own eyes? That, that did not occur in a quiet room. And it is something very speculative and something we should discourage. Because if you just hear from Kano that they didn't find it and then you start doing it in all the stations, you can imagine how chaotic that will be. We must grow beyond things like that. So will you challenge them to prove that this is the case, that it, did ne that it never occurred? I am saying authoritatively that it never happened in Aquaibom State more than what I have told you now, and that Aquaibom State was very, very peaceful. I can say that authoritatively. All right. Uh, and there was election clearly conducted, as can be attested to, by either a correspondent, which I believe you have in Aquaibom, or maybe the observers. It is a strange story. If one person starts saying that there was no election, and I believe there were some media houses that even showed pictures of people voting and all that. So we are very peaceful here, and we don't want to bring any, uh, any uh, problems here. Well, thank you very much, uh, retired Air Commodore Idongasit Nkanga. Thank you so very much. Thank uh, you. Well done.